Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to go over SOC analyst training tools, right? Hands-on tools that you can use to succeed and flourish. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So to excel as a SOC, right, also known as a security operations center analyst, several key skills are essential. You have the technical skills, right? That's the strong understanding of network protocols, systems, and IT infrastructure. That comes in the realm of knowledge of attack vectors and methodologies. You have the proficiency in programming languages like Python, PowerShell, Bash, SQL, and Perl. What is your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. Then there's experience in SIM, right? S-I-E-M, which is security information and event management tools. Famili familiarity, right? With log analysis and correlation techniques. That fall, you know, that, 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 that is very important. So security specific tools, incident handling and response, threat hunting, network traffic uh, analysis, digital forensics, vulnerability assessment, malware analysts, right? Analysis, right? cloud uh, security, identity and access management, uh, encryption technologies, uh, and, and the analytical and problem solving skills that that is in the realm of critical thinking and analytical abilities, ability to quickly assess and prioritize security alerts, skill in conducting forensic investigations, communication and collaboration, right? That's strong written and verbal communication skills, because sometimes you might be talking to people who may not be as tech savvy as you, right? So being able to simplify is, is very, is very important. The ability to work effectively in a team environment, skill in writing in clear and concise incident response uh, incident reports continuous learning right Adap uh, adaptability to learn or to you know to new technologies and evolving threats self-motivation to stay updated with industry developments uh ethical hacking and penetration testing right that's the understanding of ethical hacking techniques the ability to perform and interpret penetration tests and then you have the stress management, right? That's in the lines of capacity to work under pressure and handle high stress situations. You know, especially when a breach happens or a cyber attack happens, that's typically when it's very, 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 very high stress. Uh, time management and prioritization, right? Skill in managing multiple tasks and prioritizing effectively. Documentation and reporting, which is the ability to maintain detailed incident reports and security policies. Skill in creating and updating security playbooks. So by developing and honing these skills, SOC uh, analysts can you know, become more valuable to their organizations and advance in their careers. It's important to note that the cybersecurity landscape is constantly evolving, so continuous learning and adaptation are crucial for long-term success in the field. Now, when it comes to, we, we talked about it a little bit, so, but let me expand on it a little bit. So what programming languages are most useful for SOC analysts, right? So to excel as a SOC, analysts uh proficiency in several programming languages is highly beneficial the most useful programming languages and you know for a SOC analyst include you have python right that's widely used for scripting automation and data analysis uh, it's ideal for writing custom scripts to automate repetitive tasks and for analyzing log files you have powershell which is essential for managing and automating tasks in windows environments it's useful for scripting and handling administrative tasks on windows systems you have bash and that's important for scripting in unix slash linux environment we know that there are so many linux dist distros out there so you know, Bash is, is, is useful just from that standpoint is alone. Uh, it's useful for automating tasks and managing system operations. JavaScript, when it's, it's battling Python for the mostly used, mostly used, right? It's useful for understanding and analyzing web-based threats, often used in cross-site scripting, XSS, and other web application security uh, context. You have SQL, which is crucial for querying and managing databases. It helps in extracting and analyzing data from various logs and database. You have C and C++. Please don't confuse the two. There is C and there's C++. Useful for understanding low-level operations and memory management. Important for reverse engineering and developing exploits. You have the Go, the Golang, which is increasingly popular for developing security tools tools to, due to its efficiency and performance. It's useful for multi-platform development and creating robust security applications. 
You have Ruby, occasionally used, particularly in particularly in writing Metasploit modules, uh, useful for developing and understanding exploits and security tools. Uh, please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and the like button. So these languages equip SOC analysts with the ability to automate tasks, analyze and respond to threats, and develop custom tools, enhancing their effectiveness in defending against cyber threats. So for aspiring SOC analysts, there are several top sites and platforms that offer comprehensive training and resources. We'll start off with Try Hack Me, and that offers a SOC Level 1 learning path that provides hands-on training and so uh, practical experience. Uh, you have Let's Defend IO. It provides a SOC analyst learning path designed to simulate real-world SOC environments and tasks, right? That's the Let's Defend.io. You have Hack the Box, which features a SOC analyst path that includes various labs and challenges to build practical skills. And, you know, again that's that you have the blue team level one also known as btl1 offers a recognized certification and practical labs focused on SOC analyst skills you have cyber defenders which provides a practical SOC analyst certification that prepares candidates for real job scenarios and then now let's get into sim tools right that's security information and event management tools you know, they're, they're very essential for SOC analysts, right? So we have to talk about some of the tools that are out there that can really help you out. So let's start with Splunk, right? S-P-L-U-N-K, Splunk, which is a comprehensive tool that pulls information from all aspects of a network for efficient data an uh, analysis and response. You have the SolarWinds Security Event Manager, right? That offers advanced threat identification, forensic uh, analysis, and automated incident responses. We have Logrhythm, which provides a zero trust model and optimizes security infrastructures against emerging threats. You have Trillix Platform, which delivers real-time visibility into system activity and customizable content packs for compliance. Now that we talked about that, the job growth outlook for SOC analysts is robust, reflecting the increasing demand for cybersecurity uh, professionals. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, uh, also known as BLS, employment for information security analysts, which includes SOC analysts, is projected to grow 33% from 2020 to 2030. This translates to approximately 47,100 new positions being added in this field during that period. So the key points of job growth for SOC analysts is, again, it's, it's high demand, right? The surge in cyber threats and attacks has led organizations to prioritize cybersecurity, resulting in a significant need for dedicated security teams, uh, including SOC analysts, right? The projected growth rate is 33%. That, that, is, that is a nice, healthy portion. That's a nice, healthy portion. So it indicates a strong job market for SOC analysts as well. So the current employment figures, so at, you know, this was as of 2020, but it cannot be that skewed, right? There were about 141,000 uh, security analysts employed in the US with projections indicating an increase to meet the rising cybersecurity needs. Now, when it comes to career advancement, SOC analysts have opportunities for advancement into senior roles such as SOC manager or chief security officer, which further enhances the career growth potential in this particular field, right? So in a nutshell, pursuing a career as a SOC analyst is promising with high job security and opportunities for, you know, professionals development and, uh, you know, organ organizations increasingly recognize the importance of cybersecurity. So you can't really go wrong with a uh, SOC analyst, you know, uh, you name it, you, you name the industry is, is, is among the top industries that are you know, on the chopping block for hackers to hack into their systems. Um, and, 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 and let, let, let's, let me also say this, like, although SOC analyst is a, it, it, it is a role, uh, so many, you know, roles in cybersecurity are vast and broad. So you also want to pinpoint what kind of SOC analyst you do, right? What, 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 what kind of, what, what kind of role are you most comfortable with? Uh, so that's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and the like button. Once again, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and the like button. Also, share this content with, with, with your friends and everything. Let's have this conversation on a global scale. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe and see you in the next video.